Having a workspace that you enjoy going to is very important. When you have a space that is clean, functional, and set to your liking, it can help you not only be more productive on a day-to-day -day basis, but can also be less stressful. This completed studio took me about two months to complete. A lot of that time was waiting on things to get here through the mail, have to build my desktop, and then of course, putting everything together and finding its place. I want to bring up a picture here that I will showcase the before and after of this workspace and just how much of a difference putting a little bit of time and money can really make a space completely transform. The first thing I did was paint this accent wall and the color I used is called Satin Black by Bear and I think it turned out perfect. Once the wall was painted, I then sat down and thought about exactly what I wanted the studio to resemble and I thought to myself, hmm, might as well make it a man cave slash studio. So I ended up actually bringing my TV out from my living room up here and placed it on this amazing piece I found from All Modern. It fits the theme perfect for what I'm going for, which is a white slash wood look throughout the whole studio. Now also, everything in this video, I will have links down in the description below if you guys want to check out exactly where I got everything from. Now for this couch I found, it fits perfect. I found this on Amazon for a little less than $200 and I absolutely love it. Not only is this a great place for me to kick back and watch some CNBC or play some Nintendo 64 with my son, but it also is a nice spot just to take a quick break from work if I ever need it. Now from the wall decor in my studio, I wanted to make sure I used things that resembled me. I'm a big gun guy, hopefully I don't get demonetized for this, and enjoy them a lot. So when I found these pieces on Etsy, I had to get them. But these turned out amazing and I'm so glad I made the decision to pull the trigger and get them. No pun intended. Or was it? Now, moving on to the actual workspaces, I ended up building two different desks. Now, this first one is more for a catch-all. I wanted a spot that could hold my printer, books, and whatever else I decided to add or need up here in the future. And this desk fits the bill perfect. And not every man cave slash studio can be complete without a beer fridge. If it's getting close to closing shop for the day, I'll grab me a brewski and finish up editing a video or send out some last minute emails before calling it a day. The work harder sign is also something that fits me perfect. I am all about getting the job done and working as hard as it takes to fulfill your dreams. So seeing that sign every day reminds me of where I started and where I wanna go. Now, as for the desk, I found the actual desktop on Home Depot and then the legs that are holding the desk up, I found on Amazon and I simply just had to screw the legs on, put them in the position where I wanted them and it turned out perfect. Now I knew I needed a spot in this studio for a whiteboard because well, who doesn't enjoy a nice whiteboard? I'm a big believer in writing things down, crossing them off, really helps you stay productive. For me, seeing those list items I need to complete makes me want to get them done ASAP just so I can cross them off. Something about that just excites me. I don't know, call me weird, but whatever. Now moving on to the spot I spend majority of my time on is this main desk setup. To start off, the computers are what I've used for a while now. It is just a Dell all-in-one with an extra monitor, but what I recently added to it, and I'm so glad that I did, were these Kanto speakers. I was so excited when these boys came in, but I have to say I was not expecting them to sound as good as they do. Not only does it go with the theme of the overall studio, but I love to jam, turn on some music, or turn on a good podcast while I'm up here working throughout the day. Now my original idea was just to copy the same desk setup you see in a lot of these videos here on YouTube, with buying the IKEA Alex drawers and then placing the desktop on top of that. Well, apparently, those drawers have been sold out for a while now, and I'm glad they were because what I chose to do instead, I like so much more. I ended up purchasing the Uplift desk and I could not be more happier. Now, instead of sitting on my ass all day, I can start and end my day standing at my desk to help increase my overall energy, or if I'm feeling a little bit tired or not motivated, I can simply raise the desk, stand up, and get the job done. Now, one of my favorite purchases for this workspace are these filing cabinets I found on Amazon. Now, since I ended up not getting those IKEA Alex drawers I mentioned earlier, I lost out on a lot of potential storage space I was expecting to have, so I ended up buying these two filing cabinets. I put one under each desk, they have a spot for hanging file, which is a must for me, but they also make great storage containers for all of my filming equipment and any other odds and end items I do. Now, as for the hanging file drawers, the way I organize this is the one that's under my main desk where I spend majority of my time, everything YouTube related is what goes in those hanging files. YouTube is my full-time job. It's what I spend majority of my time doing. Now, as for my other filing cabinet, all of those hanging file folders are for everything personal related personal tax returns, it's for my real estate business, all of the things that aren't YouTube related go over in that other 
hanging file cabinet and it just really helps out an organization and the more organized you are in your overall workspace it makes everything so much easier and less stressful because you know exactly where everything goes so guys really that's it i really hope you enjoy the studio slash man cave tour and again remember all these items in the video will be linked to the description now i wanted to kind of showcase this studio slash man cave tour for you guys because one i i'm excited for this i'm proud to have my own place to work my own place to come up that i kind of customize myself to fit for my liking it kind of it's me is what it is and i think it's very important to have a space like that if you do work from home or if you have your own business and your business is run out of your house having a space that you can come up to and just get things done is just super important and being comfortable with that makes the job so much easier so guys again thank you so much for watching if you've stuck around to the end of this video i really do appreciate it feel free to hit that subscribe button hit that like button if you enjoyed the video and until the next one you guys take care